gonna unbox it and take a look at it. Pearl blush office chair. Okay, this is the top of it. I don't know if this is new. It looks kind of beat up the box. So, not sure, a lot of tape. Doesn't seem like tape that comes from the manufacturer, but doesn't seem like it has many parts to it. A couple of, I don't know if this is. This is, I guess we'll find out. I don't think we need this. So I'm gonna leave it in the box just in case and I'll go back to it if I do. This is everything inside. Hopefully it will be very easy to put together. And you know what, let's start putting it together. So, all the pieces are here. You gotta get the hardware. So I unpacked all the screws, pretty cool. The actual display or diagram or drawing in the manual of the screws are actually the same size as the real screws. So the first thing we gotta do is turn this upside down. And put in the feet. Oh, I'm sorry, the wheels. Very easy, you just doing it with one hand but you just push down very hard and it goes right in suggestion from my wife do it on a rug maybe so that you don't scratch the actual top of this but you just push down they'll go in don't do it on a hard surface if you're buying this chair because you don't want to scratch this so i did it on the rug and that's perfect okay all the legs are in i mean all the Sorry, wheels are connected. So let's see what's next. Okay, okay so we gotta get the gas lift. This thing. And, uh, wait, we need to put the, uh, I guess we don't have to put the cover yet. This cover, don't forget that. This is metallic, not even plastic. Pretty cool. Okay. Now that that's done, we got to flip over the chair, this uh, the seat, and start screwing everything in. Screwing this thing. I'm going to now slip the cover onto here. Cool, all right, so let me do this. So we're gonna use the A1 screws, which are the small ones, or the shorter ones, I should say. Front. It says front there, front, front, match it up. This is the little lever you'll use to uh, raise and lower the actual seat itself. There's a little holes there. We will be putting the screws in there. And you'll be using an Allen key to tighten it. I would first put all the screws in first before totally tightening, tightening every single one. That was easy, I mounted it in, not too hard. 
put each one in and then just tighten it as much as you could, not too much. Now we go to the next step, which will be uh, okay, installing the back part. That'll be with the long screws. And then we'll just sit it down on top. All right, easy. For this part, get two people. My wife held it up as I put it together like this. As you can see. But um, I don't like the way this bar is hitting this here. So I may have to turn this a little bit. And I'll loosen them and just twist it so that this doesn't hit this pole unless it's supposed to, I'm not sure. And let's do that, I'm gonna tighten these up first. Maybe that'll make a difference also. Disregard the twist as once you tighten all these, don't tighten them too hard. There is a gap in between, as you can see right there. So it's not gonna be flush. There's a gap, gap. Just tighten it where the screw doesn't turn anymore. Don't, do not force it. You will sh strip it or break it. And look, no more. Once I tightened it and it became snug with the bottom seat, this bar here no longer touches. It's separated. Cool. Okay, now let's go to doing it pretty light also. Now let's put it on top of here. And do this with one hand. Be careful, make sure your hands are clean. You do not want to dirty the uh, pink chair. Perfect. It's in. Beautiful. I like it. Real nice. It's very, it has it clean. Make sure you has it clean. Soft. Wow. Very soft. Very cushiony. Nice. How much did this cost you, honey? $59 on Walmart at Walmart. $59 at Walmart on Walmart's website. Cool. It's nice. I uh, would keep the kids away. <laughs> it's a very nice chair. It just worries me the color. It's a very nice looking chair. I like it a lot. Let me do the height and then we'll finish off the video. So it's about 20, and a half, 20 inches and a half from the floor at its raised to its highest that it could be raised from the seat, 20 and a half. The back itself, just in case you need that option, it's about three feet. Uh, 36 and a half. 36 and a half if you go to the middle here. 36 and a half. Now let's see how it is when we lower it all the way. At its lowest point, sixteen and a half, almost seventeen. Sixteen and a half to seventeen at its lowest point. And then Thirty-two. Count the centers. Thirty-two and a half. Thirty-two 
two and a half, three inches in thickness. Uh, two, and it's on the back here. One thing I just, I have a, uh, I always buy, depending on your floor. So if you have wood floors, my suggestion to you would be not to use these plastic wheels as they will cause a lot of scrape marks on your wood floor. I usually swap these out if I'm using them on a wood floor with the, uh, I call them the, ro the roller blade wheels or the rubbery ones um, that they sell on Amazon that you can replace these with easily. They're, um, they remind me of the old roller blade uh, wheels that I used to put on has the, uh, They'll have ball bearings in the middle, so they move smoothly, and the actual wheel itself will be uh, a rubber type material, so it won't cause any scuff marks or damages or you know any kind of anything to the wood wheel uh, to the wood floors. The only issue with those wheels is that at times when you're moving around in your chair and your feet are planted flat, I you can run over. I'm talking about the other wheels, the rubber ones, the rollerblade type wheels. You can run over your own foot and it hurts. It hurts. If uh, you've had those wheels and in, in uh, if you ever had those wheels and you used a chair with those wheels without shoes on, you know what I mean. But uh, besides that, it's a nice chair. Really nice looking. We'll be using it on a rug so it's not a big deal. Very, very nice. All right, I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Um, feel free to ask me any questions below. Um, I'll comment on updates in regards to the use of it. So this was more like a look at. Okay, thank you for watching. Oh, the back does not move. It's stationary. It stays in that specific position. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Mainstays plush velvet office chair, pearl blush, pink chair, 11-2022. Cost, $59.99. Walmart. About this item. Products details. Make your room or office into a fashionable, yet functional space with this Chick Mainstays Blush Velvet Office Chair. Generously padded with high-density foam and wrapped in a soft velvet material, this chair will provide hours of lasting comfort and support during those long study sessions or work hours. Chair back is ergonomically curved to provide durable back support and stability. The elegance of the blush fabric is complemented by a painted gold base. Black dual wool casters allow you to easily move about the room as needed. Customizable pneumatic seat height adjuster allows you to set your chair up to fit your needs. The stylish blush and gold combination create a beautiful piece that will complement a variety of home or office decor styles. Whether it's a home office, a dorm room, or a professional workspace, the Mainstays Blush Velvet Office Chair will add that splash of sophistication and style you were looking for. Mainstays Velvet Task Chair with Adjustable Height, 250 pounds, Pearl Blush. Back Type, Mid Back. Covering Material, Soft Velvet. Color, Blush. Base Material, Metal. Soft Fabric Seat in Back. Pneumatic Adjustable Seat Height. Durable Metal Base with Gold Finish. Seat is generously padded with dense foam for long lasting comfort. Dual caster wheels for easy mobility around the room ideal for home office, dorm room or professional workspaces. A great fit with any home or office decor styles. Products dimensions, 21.25 WX 24.75 DX 32.75 inches to 36.5 H. Package dimensions. 9.25 WX 22.5 LX 23.5 H. Package weight, 20.7 pounds. Seat height, 
16.75 inches 20.5 inches seat depth 24.75 inches weight limit 250 pounds one year warranty model ms59-06009901 specifications brand mainstays color pearl blush manufacturer or part number MS59-06009901 Recommended location Indoor Features Adjustable height Swivel Assembled product dimensions LXWXH 24.75x21.25x36.50 inches